Hey, what's going on guys? It's G Rad here. I figured I'm cooking dinner, so I figured I would come on here real quick and it's been a while since I've done anything with YouTube. Uh, so let me stick this up here. I don't know how well y'all gonna be able to see me, but it's all good because I'm just cooking dinner. <laughs> Nothing special. Um, anyways, so uh, what's going on is I have recently procured a new electronic drum module. And by the way, if you're asking what I'm having for dinner, it is fajita stir fry. And I'm completely blind, so this is nothing out of the ordinary for me. I do this all the time. So, um, so yeah, right now it's just stirring it up, just kind of keeping the food going. This is not really a barbecue, but this has definitely got, you know, some meat church fajita seasoning in it because I can. It's my dinner. Might as well do it the way I want to do it. If they don't like it, oh well. I like it. it. Smells great, man. I'm hungry on this. Just thinking about it. <laughs> it's just a lot of stir fry. Um, but anyway, so I got a new electronic drum set. It's a Roland TD9, and it is just a simple five-piece kit pet set up with additional. You know, it's got two crashes, a rod, and the way I got it set up, I got a china and a hi hat. I got a kick, a double pedal, snare, two rack toms, a floor tom. My ride is three zones, so that's good. Um, other than that, I'm thinking about getting back into doing drum covers because I need the exercise. I mean, look at me. Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't even be eating dinner. But um, <laughs> nonetheless, but so, yeah, that's what I got going on. So some of the covers I got in mind range from like Metallica to probably some more Tool. And um, a lot of stuff that mainly I play in like Lost in Nostalgia because I can do our cover version of it and back out the drums from our live recordings because that's just i mean come on let's be realistic that way i can keep with the cover you know part of it because let's be you know because with youtube being infringing these days and doing all that stuff you know you don't want to get your videos banned or anything like that so i'm just gonna go about it the youtube way and um that should be about it i'll put this over here out of the way there's a sink over there behind the camera. Um, so, yeah, I got, like, Lost Nostalgia has, like, a list of some 70-plus songs, but I do know I have a lot of them recorded drumless or recorded live in studio format so I can back the drums out of them and make a drum cover video with that using the band's performance as, a, as opposed to the original. Now... Like I was saying, the originals, even though you can use them, they have a chance of my videos getting blocked because I have a lot of songs that I want to upload, but the videos get blocked because I don't have the rights legally to put the songs up there because they're, they're not my material, even though the original drums are usually not in the recordings. So the the original is slightly altered, but... It's so much too close to the original to the point they're just like, nope, the original, can't do it. Sorry, bud. <sighs> what are you going to do, you know? Now, it's not like that for all content, but it is like that for a lot of the content, especially the mostly popular stuff. Um, Just checking. I'll do that frequently, but I wash my hands before I cook, so it's all good. Um, but the most obvious, and I'll give you a couple of prime examples. When Aretha Franklin passed away back in... A couple of years ago, whatever, I was originally doing, I was originally going to do a cover of Respect. However, that video got completely blocked. It didn't just get, you know, this guy's third party content. The video completely got blocked and I wasn't able to upload it. And um, I did the same thing with the Rammstein song, Whitman's Hail. And um, unfortunately, that immediately got blocked instantaneously. But here's the part that confuses me. You get other people doing these covers and guitar covers and stuff like this, and they get uploaded. They probably cheated. I don't know. I mean, I know there's a way to, despite the video getting blocked, it's not going to do it all the time. But there is a way to do the video like that. But unfortunately, I don't know how to go about it. But So I just do it the way that I know works for me. And uh, because of that, I have to work with what I got. And if the video gets blocked, then I just have to find another cover but I do keep them in an archive on my computer so I still have every cover I've ever done and I have some like 170 plus drum covers but like 160 of them are on YouTube you know so what I'm gonna do is I'm thinking about doing something special 
where if I upload the video somewhere, and like maybe Facebook or something like that, because I know Facebook can do that, but you know, it's just, it's, they're weird too, you know, but it's, it's but being an original, I'm afraid to, but like if I'm doing like Lost Nostalgia's version where we got the cover material up, you know, I have a better chance of surviving the infringement rights because they do have a um, law that allows for cover material to be viewed properly despite I'm not doing anything to harm the original product. But enough of that. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about since it's been a couple of months since I've done a video. I have met my weight loss goal so far. I have made it under 360 pounds before Christmas. Now, will I get down to 350 before the beginning of the year? I'm not too sure. But the realistic is... You know, Thanksgiving, it was Thanksgiving holiday, and I still lost weight, so that's a good thing. It might take me a little bit, because it's going to get harder as the mountain drops, but if I'm being honest, I can get back into a 4X t-shirt, and I used to wear X, but, you know, it happens. So, anyways, I'm thinking about starting some barbecue videos here on my channel, so if you guys want to leave me a comment and let me know what y'all think about that, that'd be kind of cool, because I do a lot of barbecue. Got, you know, I got three grills out back, I got a fire pit, I got... All kinds of stuff, and I use like premium seasonings, meat church, holy gospel, you know. I also use like hardcore carnivore, and there's all other kinds of stuff that I got going on in there, so. Yep, um, so I'm thinking about starting some barbecue videos, just to kind of let them see how Blind Man does it. I mean, it's, I'm not going to say it's nothing special, because to me, is if people eat it, enjoy it, and there's hardly any left, if there's not any left at all, to me that's a good thing, you know, because that means people liked it. It's whenever somebody eats it and they're just like, it's cool. I'll give you an example. I have a best friend of mine. She does not like bone-in chicken, but we made some barbecue bone-in chicken with some ivory sauce not too long ago, and she about tore up the whole damn butt cook, okay? She was hungry. It was good to her, and that's that made me happy because that means I did something right. But anyways, this is what I got going on. Um... Well, when I'm cooking, I just figured I'd make this video right quick and just let y'all know what's going on and see how this is doing. Eh, it's getting there. It's still a little cold, but I don't want it burning either, so. But I can definitely tell. Yeah, there it is. It says fajita chicken. It's a stir fry, so. I can put it in a bowl, put it in a plate. And it's a big bag, but probably it'll be just for me, so I'm going to have some for dinner tonight, some for lunch for the next few days, and... I want to be good. So just keep stirring it and keep going. It's going to eventually get done, which is good. And even though it came with a little bit of seasoning, I put some of this in it. Let me get over here. This is the meat shirt fajita seasoning. <laughs> Let's be realistic. I'm always doing something like that. But I wanted to make sure that I put a small amount because I have been known to put a little extra seasoning in my foods. Which is probably not good for you anyways, but who cares? <laughs> it tasted great. Um, so I've got a barbecue coming up, and I may do some videos on that. Just the other day, we did a barbecue over the fire pit. We took the grate off my kettle and put it over some chicken wire over the fire pit, and we grilled some steaks and some chicken wings on it. Well, we actually didn't smoke the wings, but we could because the lid fits perfectly on it, obviously. So uh, what we did is we smoked some wings in a Kamado Joe, and then we put them on the fire pit to, to to sear them up and get them a little bit crispier. Then we tossed them in some ivory sauce and then we put them back on the grill. And then we did some steaks and that was dinner. So that was this past weekend, Sunday. Saturday we did a pork butt and um, I wasn't home for most of it because my, I had to go do a show with Lost Nostalgia. But my cousin tended to it and we got the thing off the grill about 12 o'clock. We started at like 1.30 or something like that in the afternoon and get it off about midnight so yeah and I got home about 1 30 in the morning <laughs> yeah this is getting close it's still a little cold in some spots and I don't want to so let me tw toss it around a little bit kind of get some of that colder stuff towards the bottom some of the hotter stuff towards the top and that's what you got to do this is going to be good but all right guys well I'm going to keep this going and as soon as it's done, I'm going to go eat. So, this is G Sign the Ice saying peace. Thanks for checking it out. And welcome to my world. <laughs> All right, guys, later.